Rapper Taran Kaur Dhillon, a.k.a. Hardcore, has been charged with sedition for her posts against Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath and RSS Chief Mohan Bhagwat. The UK-based rapper has been charged for sedition, promoting enmity between different groups on grounds of religion, defamation and the intent to incite. Reports say the FIR was filed by a Varanasi-based lawyer for her social media posts, where she referred to the UPCM as rape man and blamed the RSS for him and Karkare's death. A Jamnagar Sessions Court has sentenced former IPS officer Sanjeev Bhatt to life imprisonment in a 1990 custodial death case. The case pertains to when Bhatt was posted as the additional superintendent of police in Gujarat's Jamnagar. According to the prosecution, Bhatt had detained over 100 people during a communal riot and one of them died in hospital after he was released due to custodial torture. Bhatt just a few weeks ago had filed a petition in the Supreme Court seeking the examination of 11 additional witnesses but it was turned down. A life term for former IPS officer Sanjeev Bhatt in a custodial death case led to a social media storm with views from all sides of the spectrum. While many said Bhatt was victimised for his well-known anti-Modi stand, others said his sentence was an attempt to silence dissent. Supporters of the government have said there was no vendetta by the government and the law had taken its course. Reeling under a humiliating poll debacle, speculations are rife on what Congress President Rahul Gandhi's next steps would be. Attending Parliament for the budget session, Rahul told reporters that his party will decide on who his successor will be. Rahul Gandhi has been adamant on stepping down as Congress President, but his resignation has been rejected by the Congress Working Committee. Two people, including a 17-year-old boy, were killed and three others injured in clashes between unidentified people in West Bengal's Bhatpara. The incident took place hours before the West Bengal police chief was to inaugurate a new building for the local police station in North 24 Parganas district. Reports say crude bombs were thrown and gunshots were fired, after which the police have used tear gas to control the situation. Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has called for an urgent meeting. Six bodies and remains of seven crew members have been recovered from the site where an Indian Air Force AN-32 aircraft crashed in Arunachal Pradesh on June 3rd. The wreckage of the missing aircraft was located on June 11th, following which a massive operation to search for the bodies or possible survivors was launched. 13 IAF personnel were on the aircraft. The bodies and remains will be taken to the Air Force base in Jorhat. Indian all-rounder Vijay Shankar suffered an injury scare while practicing before the game versus Afghanistan. Shankar was batting in the nets and hurt his toe when a Yorker from speedster Jashpreet Bumrah caught the better of him. According to reports, Shankar stopped batting after getting hit and was in considerable pain. Team India is already struggling with injuries as Shikhar Dhawan has been ruled out of the World Cup and Bhuvneshwar Kumar is missing 2-3 games due to a hamstring strain. Domestic markets on Thursday clocked best single-day gains in nearly three weeks as benchmark indices zoomed over 1% each in intraday trading. Sensex, after opening in the red, gained nearly 500 points to notch an intraday high of 39,638, while the Nifty rose 140 points to close above 11,800, led by pharma stocks and PSU banks. Nifty Bank also surged over 1%, pulled up by ICICI and Kotak Mahindra. Notably, the ratio of the number of shares was in favour of advances for the first time in June. In a breather for the salaried class, the government is considering increasing the personal income tax threshold to 3 lakh rupees per annum from the current ceiling of 2.5 lakh rupees. According to reports, the government is likely to propose the changes in next month's budget, a move which is expected to add stimulus to the slowing economy. The Finance Ministry is also looking to raise the ceiling for savings and investments made under Section 80C. The proposed tax move, if put into effect, will add 2,500 rupees into the hands of 50 million taxpayers, but will also put pressure on the fiscal deficit, currently pegged at 3.4% of the GDP. Bengali actress and newly elected Trinamool MP Nusra Jaha has tied the knot with Kolkata-based businessman Nikhil Jain. The couple got married in the Turkish town of Bodrum in the presence of close relatives and friends on Wednesday. Hrithik Roshan's ex-wife Suzanne Khan has now waded into the bitter war of words between Kangana Ranaut, Hrithik Roshan and his sister Sunaina Roshan. In an Instagram post, Suzanne wrote that the Roshan family is going through a tough time and asked people to respect his family. Suzanne added that Hrithik's sister Sunaina is an extremely loving and warm person and is in an unfortunate situation. 
Kangana's sister and manager Rangoli claims Sunaina was being punished by the Roshan family for being in love with a Muslim man and she had reached out to Kangana for help. In an unexpected tweet, Sunaina Roshan earlier said that she will support Kangana through it all. Salman Khan star Ar Bharat, which was till last week Salman's highest opening film, has now achieved another remarkable feat by crossing the 200 crore rupee mark at the box office. According to trade analyst Tarun Adarsh, Bharat has raked in 201 crore rupees till Thursday and is expected to gain more in the coming weeks. Starring Katrina Kaif in the female lead role, Bharat released on June 5th. और फिर हमारी जिंदगी में आई मैडम सर हमारी लाइफ एकदम परफेक्ट Amazon has launched a new version of its flagship e-reader the Kindle Oasis the new model comes with a color adjustable front light that lets you change the warmth or coolness of the display it retains the IPX8 rated water resistance 7 inch display and ergonomic design for one handed reading the new Kindle Oasis is available on pre-order on Amazon with a starting price tag of 21999 rupees and the device will begin shipping from the 19th of August OnePlus has begun rolling out the Oxygen OS 9.5.8 update for OnePlus 7 Pro users. The new software update brings with it optimized touch sensitivity, improved third-party Type-C headphones compatibility, May Android security patch and fixes for the front pop-up camera. The Oxygen OS 9.5.8 update for the OnePlus 7 Pro reportedly weighs 109 MB in size and is now available over the air.